trades if you have not like and subscribe don't forget to like and subscribe click that bell button so get you all the updates about my latest videos so today's today's i'm gonna talk about like overall what are the some of the stocks like five stocks under hundred dollars which you can add right now for your long-term portfolio so these are not swing these are for long term again there's nothing wrong if it's make like uh, you make hundred percent uh, fifty percent profit you can take profit but these are basically i'm looking for next year year or two year so these are all great stocks which have the really uh, really growth like they are growing at least 20 30 percent their revenue is growing their eps is growing so basically one of the criteria which which can slim right so i'm gonna go over all of those and kind of see why i think those are buy again always do your dd uh, and uh, if you feel uh, if, you, if your dd align with mine definitely it's i think it's a great i'm adding them and i'm gonna go through my thought process so first is grwg right uh, grow generation corporation so this is uh, this is one of the kind of in the pot weed industry not directly related but they basically make a lot of the things they need for the pot industry a lot of the products right and as you see all the we are setting a lot of the uh, money flow in the weed and we had a massive uh, massive massive i actually had a lot of leaps right around like when it was like 2018 90 20 and uh, i sold on january uh, after that i i have not entered and uh, uh, i think i i did enter some small positions right around february when we uh, when it uh, dipped uh, just below just in this trend line uh, so I did enter but right now it did break the uh, above trend line but we are in the same levels and if you look at uh, we are above 20 and 50 day 20 and 50 day and above uh, 200 days 200 days quite far uh, it's almost at like what 20 dollars 20 23 dollars so I definitely don't think we are going there uh, maybe we'll go 40 max that's what i think in my opinion but uh, you cannot really time it uh, so if you are in long terms like whether you buy at 40 or 45 i think it's a great buy if you look at their numbers right they have a phenomenal numbers if you look at that uh, they are still pretty small 2.45 billion market cap uh, if you look at their income not quite but they are in the growth stage right so sales is 156 million not too bad right and uh, if you look at pe it does look like crazy expensive 773 but if you look at the forward p which is next fiscal year it it does goes to 109 so uh, think about it if we can reduce the p by, by almost seven seven times in a year that's great again they're not gonna keep doing every year but um, you get the idea right they are growing uh, pretty rapidly their eps this year is 120 earning per share right uh, 100 next next year it's actually 261 that's pretty amazing right and eps past five years it has been 36 around that's great and sales past five years 131 percent right sales quarter over quarter they're up uh, from from last quarter to this quarter 152 percent and eps 150 so a lot of all the great numbers they're right below 50 days so uh, 50 days is a great uh, for a uh, lot of these stronger companies right they don't really pull back to um, 100 or 200 days so 50 days is a great time it's right below 50 days so if you want to really kind of time out you can actually get in whenever it just bounce up right above the 50 day but if you're a long-term investor i think it really doesn't matter uh, it's five percent cheaper i would say but uh, yeah uh, still above way above sma 200 which i kind of discussed but great company overall uh, good liquidity and lot of institutional uh, support as well institution ownership is 57 percent that's huge so um, I definitely think this is a great stocks and I definitely think they will definitely go to their all-time high of almost $70 which almost like uh, 50% um, uh, 50 almost 100% like 40 uh, about 70 to 80% upside so this is one of the great uh, great long-term GRWG next is to you inc so what is to you right to you they basically partnered with a lot of universities right a lot of the university and provide like boot camp and other courses right as you can see we are shifting from traditional university to a lot of these online boot camps and online courses like which kind of makes you ready for the real world right 
Uh, so um, people's like if you can see that there's a big student debt problems like people's are going to college literally have 200 plus thousand in debts and they're not getting jobs so which is really hard so a lot of shift going on on isa and all these online universities boot camp and um to you is one of those and they partner with a lot of the university and kind of make it you know online accessible right so uh, let's look at their numbers right they are also um, 299 uh, look at their sales right sales is almost billion dollars uh, pretty good right uh, so market cap is but if you look at their income not quite so uh, they are not generating a uh, lot not profitable yet it's negative 216 million but sales looks pretty good right uh, so a lot of times what happened these companies they spend very aggressive in the um, advertisement um, if you look at the history like crowd strike right uh, crowd strike was kind of losing a lot of money in the like for the first year i mean for the almost like five six years even after the ipo they were losing right but finally they are in the track and i think they are gonna be profitable next year or so but eps next year is 111 percent right um, eps next five years is 25 percent not bad eps past five years is pretty negative um, i guess um, they were kind of um, not um, not doing that great but sales past year if you look at the sales number it's been growing 38 uh, percent past year so that's pretty good when you have almost uh, almost a billion dollar in revenue right and, and they do uh, okay now they had earnings so uh, eps quarter quarter 22 percent so all pretty good numbers right they are below uh, um, sma um, 50 so uh, 50 day moving average uh, below nine percent uh so if you look at chart and also it looks like they are kind of in the support range from the this uh, February uh, uh, beginning of the February we are almost uh, March so I think they uh, they hit almost uh, 55 60 so 60 so 39 almost 100 percent upside but uh, definitely watch out for this one and next I have is net probably a lot of people know right a cloud fear net uh, so basically this is the company to the fastly right around the support zone from um, uh, basically January 21 we had the February and uh, right around that area 70 73 it did hit almost 95 96 that's the top so 20 30 percent uh, 30 percent upside from right now even if it touched the all-time high and uh, below uh, 20 days and 50 days but well above the 200 days 200 days 54 and they do have pretty impressive number eps is 41 percent eps next year is 111 percent uh, sales 50 percent um, so all great number right so market cap is pretty high uh, this is a big uh, they have a big t um, tam total addition market but um uh, yep um, so sales is 431 million so but they are uh, growing pretty um, rapidly so uh, sales a uh, quarter over 50 percent so hopefully they will catch up these are kind of valued pretty high uh, almost forward p is 10,000 but it's just for the growth company right um, pretty much uh, basically you know the p for growth like uh, it's like uh, higher the better not really but uh, you get the idea um, sma 200 just uh, below uh, below 37 uh, percent below 200 uh, so no above 200 so 37.9 uh, percent above uh, 200 sma so right between uh, 50 and 100 day probably uh, but uh, i think this is right around the support so i highly doubt it's gonna uh, drop further so pretty strong name so um, i definitely expect it to bounce it from this area next we have neo neo pretty much everybody's favorite right so neo would have been really great i did added some shares right around 42 43 area uh, these are for the long but i i think still so we bounce a little bit back up i think earnings coming up monday or tuesday after hour so be careful about the earnings it may have the sell uh, sell the news but uh, 40 so it did touch almost 65 uh, 68 so almost 70 80 percent upside right so market cap is pretty big 73 billion but think about like ev is a huge market and if there's gonna be ev and if there's gonna be ev in china i definitely think it's gonna be neo um they have a really growth number their sales like really great numbers right it's quarter over 146 percent eps 60 percent right 
uh, so uh, still uh, 15 16 percent below 50 days and 58 uh, percent above uh, 200 days moving average so i definitely think like if you are looking for long term it's it's in good buy area i think it's been holding in this area pretty good like uh, we kind of were in this area before too so this is almost from november uh, 3940 so pretty much from the november it has been like that's that's the support area since then so almost uh, five six months uh, i definitely think it's gonna be if you are thinking long definitely buy area right now and uh, these are great stocks and you can actually get in the money leap as well um, so uh, that works and uh, pretty tradable last not but not the least we have amd okay amd pretty much everybody knows what they do semiconductor really computer to nvidia and intel um, d d d taking like slowly this is really the underdog right um, they were literally like uh, i remember amd like uh, um, 13 14 dollars like a couple years ago right 13 14 dollars kind of it was struggling kind of going 29 then coming back but man they have come quite a nice and um, since july august from the uh, once they broke like 58 uh, they literally went to 93 but it's been having like pretty tough time uh, breaking that 90 uh, i think it, the top was almost 100 dollars but having hard time breaking uh, break up this trend line will be really good but if you are thinking long term i think it's a great company and uh, we are actually like uh, not quite but almost at 277 so pretty near right so it did uh, hit 81 day but we are right around 84 but uh, 50 day moving average is almost 77 78 so pretty near right so almost nine percent above just nine percent above uh, so i think it's it's a great time to add you can really not time perfectly but is again growth is great like eps is um, quarter over quarter 972 percent sales if you look at that 52 percent and look at that they already they they make like billions of dollars in sales right uh, so there's income itself is 2.49 and their sales is like almost 10 deal 10 billion dollars and they are growing their sales number by 50 52 percent that's great right so 10 billion 50 percent they're 15 billion so if they do even 30 or 40 percent 20 so it's just like once you are at that level it's really uh, really not hard to kind of scale right even the small percentage will a lot of money and once you kind of and you don't have to they have a big brand a big support uh, there's a big demand for semiconductor so semiconductor uh, so a lot of the so eps 28 um, next year 28 percent next five year 26 percent past five year 34 percent so all great numbers right sales past five years almost 19 20 percent that's that's a good numbers for the last five years consistently right so they've been really doing great they kind of came underdog and uh, uh, price target if you look at the uh, kind of coin uh, up from 110 120 which is like 10 to 20 no, almost 30 to 40 percent upside from right now so this is also a great buy so yeah uh, if you have any question or comment let me know if you if i have missed anything so if you think some great company comment below uh, but other than that have a great day and see you all guys tomorrow don't forget to like and subscribe thanks